So be aware that. So be aware. Yes, he also has opinion. So. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the video down below, this is another video from the Healthy Living series, and this time we're going to be talking about sugar. Sweetier, wabon, yeah, sugar, sugar. So in this video, we're going to be talking about sugar and the negative impacts that sugar has on the body. So essentially, signs that you should be looking out for on your body. That have to do with sugar. That basically say that you're eating too much sugar. Now, in terms of sugar, we are going to be talking about today refined sugar. So that's your silati, white sugar, brown sugar, refined sugar, as compared to fruit sugars. Well, sugars that you would find in fruits like fructose. Today, we're going to be talking about glucose and what you should be on the lookout for on your body. That will be signs that you're eating too much sugar. I know for a lot of people, the first thing that they want to do when it comes to eating healthily or losing weight, even for that matter, is to cut out sugar. It's one of the hardest things, and the reason why is because sugar is so, 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 so addictive. Okay, before I get into all of that. Do keep watching the video. So the video is basically these are the signs that you're eating too much sugar. Why you should let go of sugar. Now I'm not saying that let go of sugar completely. There's other ways in which you can ingest sugar, things that have sugar into your system. Let go of the refined sugars. So if you'd like to know how you can notice these things on your body, let's get started with number one. All right, let's start with the first point: the sugar high and the sugar crash. Now this is something that we are all familiar with. Take it when you see a little kid. If you give a little kid a packet of sweets right now, and you like a three-year-old, a toddler, a packet of sweets right now, and they eat those sweets, listen, they're gonna be like here afterwards, and then after a while, you're gonna see them go. They're gonna slump. That is the sugar high and then the sugar crash. So what happens is the glucose after taking in sugar formulates in your cells. However, it then depletes after a while, and because of that, when it depletes, glucose gets secreted from your pancreas. This is reading, okay? This is all just pure on reading. I'm not a doctor, so someone correct me if I'm wrong. But glucose gets uh, secreted or. Uh, comes out of your pancreas, and what's happen? What happens is it attaches to the cells in your body, giving you a sugar rush, a sugar high. So your adrenaline's on point. After eating like a muffin, say say you eat a muffin in the morning, and the sugar in the muffin, the sugar contents in the muffin is like ridiculous, right? It's high, and then afterwards you feel like. Okay, not only does it make you crash, it also makes you hungry again. So it fools your body into thinking that you're hungry again, even when you're not. But because you're on the sugar crash, it leads to overeating because you're hungry. You want to keep your energy levels up because now your energy levels have depleted, and because of that, you are more inclined to eat something else, even when your body really isn't that hungry. Look out for that. Sugar high, sugar crash is very dangerous. This thing, very dangerous. The next thing that you should look out for is number two is breakouts. Yeah, if you have a lot of breakouts or a lot of acne, take note of how much sugar that you're actually consuming. It doesn't mean that acne comes from just too much sugar all the time. There's other reasons behind acne. However, take into account how much sugar you are eating if you have constant breakouts, because essentially what happens is the too much of the glucose in your system causes an inflammation of the skin, which is acne. Essentially, acne is an inflammation of the skin. So what happens is it makes your glands oily, and because now your glands aren't cleaning themselves. As properly as they should be, it causes a sort of like a a blockage on your skin. Yes, a blockage, a trap, a blockage on your skin, causing for acne to develop. So when you have a lot of acne, do take into consideration how much sugar you are taking in. Twigir, pimples, up to you. Now, the obvious one, which I really, 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 really know that we all know, is weight gain. Sugar. Gives weight gain, and let me tell you what happens with sugar weight gain. Right, it sits right around your belly. If you've got love handles and belly fat, and you're wondering that, but like I'm skinny though, why do I have all these love handles? Take into account how much sugar you're ingesting, because what happens is the high levels of sugar will collect in your tummy area as excess fat, and because of that. 
it's actually one of the more dangerous parts of you to be overweight which is really around the tummy area because that is the area which uh, increases your rate of getting all these sorts of diseases that are related to sugar or weight gain or fat or things like that so be very 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 mindful of how much sugar you are taking in especially if you see yourself gaining weight around your belly area if your love handles are much larger than they usually are <laughs> and you know that you're eating a muffin every single day girl and you know that your love handles or itairalako or whatever be aware that it is probably because of your high levels of sugar stores it right here sugar excess belly fat don't say i never told you yes. so the next point is colds and flus will attack more regularly if you're consuming too much sugar now if you're somebody who gets sick quite a lot more than the normal average person in terms of viral infections like colds and flu take into account how much sugar you are eating if you are eating a lot of sugar what happens is is that sugar stops the white blood cells which are the good blood cells that fight off viral infections it stops them from working efficiently so what happens is then you are more prone to get to getting viral infections like colds and flu as compared to if you were not taking in as much sugar. So sugar, it does sort of react with your, um, it doesn't make your white blood cells as effective and because of that, you will be prone to getting more regularly sick if you consume too much sugar. Those are meanings of jela. Moving on to the last point and this is one that a lot of people really get and we're familiar with, bloating. So if you're taking in too much sugar, what happens is sugar is normally absorbed into the small intestine if it is taken in at the normal amounts of sugar that you should be having a day, which is basically two tablespoons of sugar. No more than two tablespoons of sugar. So already things like cold drinks and juices and whatever, that's a lot more. That's a lot more than you should be having. So two tablespoons can easily be absorbed into the small intestine. If you've got too much sugar in your system, what happens is it then gets absorbed into the larger intestine, which it shouldn't be absorbed into. And what happens after that is that instead it forms like almost like a gas producing bacteria, which then creates that whole bloated feeling because you get bloated. The feeling of being bloated happens normally a lot after you eat. Chances are the sugar did not only get it absorbed into your small intestine but it's gone into your larger intestine as well and has created sort of like a gas producing bacteria which makes you feel all gassy and bloated. Okay, okay, so just a little tip. Those are the five points. Just a little tip. Sugar just does come in different uh, forms you have glucose which is your refined sugars your white your brown sugars coconut sugars these are all sugars um, but you can also ingest sugar in a good way and this is through your fruits so your fructose your fructose that's the right sugar that's the sugar that you can have how much of it is debatable especially if you're somebody who's looking into weight loss how much is of that sugar is important to note um, a lot of fruits have a lot of sugar in them. you got grapes which have a lot of sugar uh, the only way to have you know how people love to have the fruit smoothies yes you can have a fruit smoothie but if you're somebody who's looking to lose weight or you're looking to just be more on the healthier side do not have a fruit smoothie every single day rather have a green smoothie today a fruit smoothie ni -ni -ni -ni, another type of smoothie that kind of thing protein smoothies there's other ways to inject inject ingest sugar into your system and yeah find out or find out what those ways are i will link some uh, articles that you can read which will be helpful or videos you can watch which will be helpful especially if you are trying to lose weight but that is it from me it's a lot it's a lot if you are on your way to trying to cut sugar out of your system or out of your life it's good it's hard but it's really really good for you at the end of the day it doesn't necessarily mean cut out on eating the treats that you love to eat if you love muffins have a muffin every now and again don't have a muffin every single day while having that muffin with a tea with two teaspoons of sugar just be mindful of how much sugar you are ingesting into your body i hope this video was helpful i'm gonna go now i think i've been talking for a really long time my lips are starting to feel all sorts of funny uh, but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>